Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Analytics 4 tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to exclude internal traffic from our Google Analytics 4 data. Why we need to do that? Because a lot of people are working on our website on a daily basis and we don't want to artificially inflate our traffic. We don't want to take into account traffic that is coming from our marketing team, our web development team, or the founding team. It is very easy to exclude internal traffic. The first thing we need to do is we need to log in to our Google Analytics 4. Second thing, we need to go to admin. So from the bottom left, you need to click to admin. Once you click to admin, then what you need to do is you need to go to your data streams. So you need to go to the middle column that is called property and you need to click on data streams. Now that we are on data streams, we need to select the data stream for which we need to exclude the internal traffic. So here I have two data streams. For most of you, you're going to have one data stream that is relevant to your website. You're going to click to your data stream. And now that you came here, scroll a little bit further down and click on the option that says configure tag settings. So you need to click here on this option. Once you click on this option that, is, that says configure tag settings, then what you need to do is you need to click on the so all option here just to see the full list of all the options that you have available to play with. And if we scroll a little bit further down, we are going to see an option here that says define internal traffic. So we are going to click here on define internal traffic. And now what we need to do is we need to create a rule. So we're going to click here on create. And what we're going to do is we are going to exclude the IP addresses of our founding team, marketing team, web development team, and everyone else you feel that is inflating your traffic. So we're going to click on this box. We're going to say IP address equals. How can we find our IP address or our colleague's IP address. Typically, I use a website that is called What's My IP Address. Let me actually Google it here and show you. So this is the website and you can find your IP address here. So you're going to copy this number and you're going to paste it here under the value. And that's it. Before you click on Create, very important, we need to give this rule a name. So let's call it exclude internal traffic. And now we can click on create. So that's it. Now we excluded internal traffic. We need to do one more thing now that is very important. We need to go all the way back to our admin console. So again, how can you go to the admin console? You need to click on the bottom left where it says admin. And this time, what we need to do is we want to go under data settings in the middle column, and we need to select the option data filters. We need to click on data filters and we need to activate the filter that we just created. So here you can see that internal traffic, the filter that we just created is under testing mode. So what we need to do is we need to click on activate filter. So how we can do that is we're going to click on the three dots on the right, click on activate filter, and that's it. So now this filter is active, which means that all the traffic that is coming from the IP address that we selected is going to be excluded. That's it. I hope that you learn how to exclude internal traffic from your GA data streams. If you like this tutorial and you found value, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like. It will really help us to create more tutorials. Have a great day and see you in the next video.